Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about somebody that I find inspiring. Her name is Rosie Waterland and she is a writer and comedian. I first discovered Rosie Waterland um, through the Mamma Mia um, social media page. Um, which is a organization that she wrote for and she became famous through her recaps of The Bachelor. Now these recaps um, inspired a lot of other people to mimic her styles of writing and then ending up um, recapping The Bachelor in very similar ways. Um, and to be completely frank, they were completely hilarious and gained her a very big following on social media. After gaining such a big following, um, Rosie actually had a fallout with Mamma Mia and ended up going out on her own. Um, in this process, she... Um, actually wrote two uh, autobiographies. One um, was based on her childhood and the other was based on um, the experiences she had with mental illness in her adult life. So the first one, which was extremely um, well received, was The Anti-Cool Girl. And the second um, was Every Lie I've Ever Told. Now, Rosie has gone through a hell of a lot in her life. Um, she grew up with a mum and a dad who met under extremely interesting circumstances both of whom have mental health issues, both of whom have dealt with um, addiction issues. Um, and Rosie and her sister actually moved houses so many times. They lived in mainly in Western Sydney, but in other parts of New South Wales as well. She's moved around a hell of a lot. Um, she's experienced all sorts of things, crazy things. Um, her dad, because he suffered such serious issues, um, was homeless a lot of the time, would disappear for years on end and then come back. Um, her mum resorted to prostitution in order to support the family. Uh, there were times where Rosie ended up in a foster family where um, she was sexually abused. She also ended up living with her wealthy uncle and his family and ended up going to a really prestigious boarding school where she was bullied mercilessly. And so even though all of these things sound incredibly horrific and when I was reading about them I would cry in the same chapter I might laugh hysterically Rosie has this crazy way of being able to inject humor into the most horrific of situations she just has a way with words and a really quirky sense of humor which I admire a lot now, one of the reasons I connect well with Rosie is not only is she around the same age as me, she has gone through and continues to go through some significant mental health issues. Now, the ones that I've been through in my life and continue to go through um, are not quite of the same severity. However, um, to read about the stuff that she's gone through and to see her still be an incredibly successful comedian and author and um, she's achieved so much in her life. I find that incredibly 
inspiring and motivating and it helps not only me but other people in similar situations feel that they can do the same as well.